Yo guys, what is up? Brazy here, and uh, how you guys doing? Long time no see. I think it's been almost a week since I uploaded a video, and uh, pretty upset about that. I was really hoping that I was going to be able to do every single day, but uh, looking back on that, that was kind of foolish. There's no way I could possibly upload every single day of the week and just be consistent like that. That's just it wasn't a good idea. I was getting a little bit too ahead of myself. I think a goal that I would like to strive for is uh, having an upload schedule of like Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Friday. Something like that is a little bit more attainable. Something being every day, that means every single day of the week, every single day of the weekend. That's way too much. You guys got to understand, these videos do not take me 10 minutes to make. They don't take me 30 minutes to make. They take me at least probably about four to five hours, depending on what the video is. Something like starting Skyblock, that was a video that only took me maybe, I don't know, two hours, and then maybe another hour to edit it, so that's about three hours. Something like the Villager Trading Hall, that was a video that took me probably about eight hours. Now you might be saying to yourself, Brazy, that was a really simple little farm. Uh, yes and no. The concept of building it was pretty easy, but gathering all the materials, doing things in my actual real life, and then also having time to edit that video, that's what takes a lot of time, and I think that's what I didn't consider when I first started this whole series, and uh, something I quickly learned I should have considered it, and I know some people in the comments told me that I'd get burnt out, and uh, that's partially true. I definitely, playing it every single day, recording it and editing it that definitely burned me out I didn't want to like even look at Minecraft after that which is not a good thing I think having a little bit more time and being a little bit smarter about how I do it is definitely gonna be the way to go but uh, enough of me rambling let me uh, get into it and tell you guys what we're gonna be doing today alright so in today's episode we need to get ourselves a slime farm uh, it's getting to the point in the series where I need slime balls I need sticky pistons and uh, I just need slime blocks in general for different machines and different farms I need to build so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand out the whole island and make it like a big giant square. And then uh, I have a spot located already where I'm going to put the slime farm. I have a place where I already know that there's a slime chunk. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much right over there by the mob farm. And yeah, let me just build out the platform a little bit and then we'll get on to building the actual slime farm. And uh, while I build this a little bit, let me talk to you guys a little bit about uh, kind of the whole reason of why I started this channel and also part of the reason of why I did at first do the uh, everyday upload thing so kind of to sum it up my goal with this whole channel and with YouTube in general because this is not the only channel I have I actually do have another channel with well over a thousand subscribers and it has almost a hundred thousand views at this point nobody's gonna know about that I'm gonna keep that uh, completely personal because that's an actual like vlogging type of channel where I actually show myself and uh, I want to keep this separate but my whole point and my whole goal with YouTube is I want to inspire people and show them that as long as you stay consistent with things and completely believe in yourself, anything is really possible. Uh, I see a lot of small YouTubers and they get about, I don't know, 10, 12, maybe even 20 videos out and uh, they don't see success and they give up. It's not because they're a bad YouTuber or because they made bad content, it's because you got to give it time. These types of things are not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen maybe even in a year or two years. It's something that's going to take a long, long time. You have to be content with uh, it taking time, and you have to just trust the process. Uh, it's hard for me to do a lot of times, too, so I know I can't say that I'm perfect. There's been a lot of times where I've uploaded day after day after day after day, and sometimes I see success, and then I kind of just give up because it's not where I want it to be. And that's the hard thing, is knowing you have good content and producing that good content and not always getting that instant gratification. It Sometimes it takes a while for these things to actually come together and, and be successful. And I just want a lot of you guys to hear this and understand that this is not something, if you want to become a YouTuber, it's not going to happen overnight. And I don't want you guys to give up. I want you to keep trying. I want you guys to keep reaching for your goals. I don't want you to give up. It's not going to be easy. Nobody ever said it was going to be easy. Doing anything in life that you really want is not going to be easy, but I don't want you guys to give up. I want you to keep trying. So if you hear this and I can inspire one person, just one, to not give up and continue on making videos, please do. And this pertains to anything in your life. If you want to be a doctor, it's not going to be easy. Like anything in your life, it's not going to be easy. Don't give up. 
I'm telling you, if you hear this and you have something in your life that you're striving for and it's not going as planned, just know it's not gonna. But Brazy's here to tell you, eventually it will. So don't give up. Alright, so now that we built out the platform and I have all the materials, we're going to hit F3 and G. Yes, that is it. And we're going to look for, it's like about 6 and 35. So right in here, this is the chunk in which uh, slimes will be spawning in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of build up right here a few blocks up in the air. I know the higher you go, the less the um, spawning pad is effective but I do want to go up a bit so I have a bigger storage system below and basically what I'm going to do is attempt to find the center of this chunk so that I can build out the same platform that I did in the nether for the magma cube farm I'm building the same exact thing here in the slime farm alright so this block right here is somewhere about the center it's a, a 16 block area so there is technically really no center it's technically about right here but this will just have to do so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand this whole platform out a little bit and uh, just fill this whole chunk in and then I'm going to place down the hoppers and the sand and we will uh, pretty much have our slime farm all we're gonna have to do is throw up a set of walls around it so that the slimes don't jump out and attack us and kill us cuz it's definitely gonna happen probably as I walk away right now it's already gonna start probably happening but we need to grab some iron for a hopper so we're gonna take that's about enough if we convert all this to make all the hoppers we're gonna need like that and then we need two chests for our collection and uh, we'll need some rails or not some rails we'll need some uh, fences so that'll be okay we can make a uh, iron fences out of the rest of those but yeah let me fill in the rest of this little platform and I'll be right back and just like that the platform is done so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna throw a torch over here and if I run over here I believe let me turn this off F3 and G and that hides that I believe if I go over here it'll uh, start spawning some slimes just like that there we go we got our first big guy here and we could take him out boom boom and look at that now we got the uh, advancement for the slime balls and we took out the rest of the slimes all right so now that we uh, can confirm that this is definitely a slime chunk we can start making the farm so we're going to use this as, as our center block so we have to dig out these around it like this and now we have to get ourselves down a little bit i think just about like that sand like this and let me just fill out the rest of the pattern just like that and then we can work on putting in some hoppers but first we have to do this, sand, 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 sand. And we'll start putting down our cactus so that it all grows up. And now we could start doing our hoppers. So we'll go like this. And I've been thinking I kind of want to make the hopper system possibly a little bigger than I did in the nether. But I think for now we're going to kind of just start out with the same pattern and see what happens. I know for the nether farm at least, I'm getting so many magma slime drops that I honestly don't even need that many. And uh, even with slime balls, I don't think I'm going to need a tremendous amount. I'll definitely need a pretty good amount, but uh, not a crazy amount. So I'm thinking that this should be more than enough considering the farm will work 24-7 as I do my work all around here. It'll be running all the time and uh, pretty much never shutting down. So it'll be more than efficient enough. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to make up some iron bars like this. We'll just make all these into iron bars. It's definitely overkill, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. And now we can do just like we did in the nether farm. Go up two blocks, then up a third. Surround this block in iron fences. And I don't believe the slimes can jump as high as the magma slimes can. Now, I may be wrong, but I just don't think they can. And now we're like this. Up two blocks, and then iron bars around here and I believe this is the crafting recipe I could be wrong but I don't think I am I, I'm pretty or not the crafting recipe I believe that this is how you make this I could be wrong but I don't think I am so 
basically what we're going to do is this. We're going to kind of back ourselves away. Get our iron blocks and boom, boom, boom. Boom, just like that. And now we're going to go like this and then we can break away that. And perfect. Our guy is exactly where we need him. So now we can just put a little roof on here by building up around him. Excuse me, sir. Very kind iron golem, sir. Can you please politely get out of my way? Thank you very much. Okay, and now we can put our little roof on here just like that. And we're going to use a bigger block like that and put a nice torch right on top just like that so now if I run over here it should start spawning some slimes and they should go and attack him instantly oh I think I see a little guy yep and just like that boom all right so perfect it's working so now all I got to do is throw up a little bit of walls around this so that the uh, slimes don't go all around and create a huge mess so oh no yeah see exactly this guy decides he's going to jump off, but he's going to meet his demise when Brazy comes over here to slap him up. Alright, so let me throw a wall up on here, and uh, the farm will be all done. Let's see, are we getting... Yes! Oh, look! I told you guys, we are not going to need any more slime balls in this. This, this farm is going to produce tons and tons and tons. It's going to be absolutely insane. <laughs> As you guys can see the farm is working perfect so the slimes are kind of all looking at the iron golem they're all going to the center they're all getting killed and uh, yeah we're getting a ton of slime balls I already checked I think we're at about a stack already probably can make this a bit more efficient if I move the uh, iron golem around but for now this is gonna do it'll work I mean if I AFK or just kind of spend some time around here we'll get more than enough slime balls than we're gonna need don't worry, got a feather falling on, so I'm not going to die. Yeah, we have over a stack, so I think if I leave this for a bit of time, we will gather way more than enough slime than we're ever going to need, because this farm's only been there for a few minutes, and it's already got that much. But if you take a look over here, this is where we're starting to see some good results. We got a cow, we got a pig. I think this is our first pig. I don't remember having a pig before. We also got a chicken, which we are going to hit him in the face, because we don't need him. And uh, you, Mr. Pig, we're going to keep you. We'll keep you for now. But chickens, we don't really need them. I'm pretty sure somewhere in here I have a bit of eggs already, so I'm not really in too much of a need for a chicken. So for now, we'll keep getting rid of them. Let's see, we got any more in here? Yeah, already a stack in half. So as you can see, definitely not going to have any more trouble in the uh, slime ball department. We're going to have more than we're ever going to need in that department. But we're definitely not lacking in slime anymore, but something that we definitely are not doing too good in is the uh, glass department. I need some more glass for a farm I'm going to be building next episode. And uh, at the moment, I think all I have is like maybe a stack and I want to get a little bit more. But the problem I'm running into is my villagers are not unlocked. So as you saw in the last episode, I got tons and tons and tons of librarians, but the problem is I have to unlock them all. And what I need to do is I need to get myself a ton of paper to unlock them. At least that'll probably be the easiest way because trading a stack of emeralds for a enchanted book is probably not going to be the easiest. But luckily what we can do is we can make ourselves a very, very nice farm out of this gravel pretty much. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one last sweep through here collect up any more gravel that there is and yeah we got a little bit more now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the island we're gonna transform this gravel into some dirt and we're going to make ourselves our temporary little sugarcane farm you know guys I actually had no clue we were so low on dirt we only have 20 dirt left but very very soon we'll have a lot more than that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform all this gravel into dirt and I'll be right back once I do all that. So I think. 
think it's safe to say we're definitely not lacking in the dirt department any longer. Wow. Eight and a half stacks of dirt. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. So let's see how much slime. That probably took me about 15 minutes to do. And we already have over nine stacks of slime balls. We're at 13, yeah, like 13 or 14 stacks right now, which is absolutely crazy. This farm running for like maybe an hour or so will definitely fill that whole chest up. But yeah, let's get up to the top. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a bit of sugar cane and some water from up here, and we're going to make ourselves a nice sugar cane farm down there. I think I have a decent amount of sugar cane in here. Yeah, I have over two stacks. We'll keep that in there just for some reserve. And then I'll put myself... Need cane? Oh, I guess I never had a stack on me in total yet. But we're going to put the, like, probably about that much. We'll take, we'll take four stacks down with us. All right, so now that we have our dirt and everything down here, we're going to make some lines over here uh, actually let's move this over we're gonna start on that block we're just gonna make a little pretty much beginner sugarcane farm that'll hold more than enough sugarcane that we'll need for right now and then eventually i'm gonna make a fully automatic one but for now we're just gonna kind of start small and we'll work our way up so this will just have to do and when i get a bit more slime we can maybe make one that involves slime we can maybe make one that involves just a whole bunch of pistons, so the possibilities are pretty much endless right now. But yeah, let's just uh, get ourselves some kind of a beginner farm just to start us off with something. Because at the moment, we have nothing, and that's not too good. Well, I guess I can't say we have nothing. We have the sugarcane farm up above, but that only produces like maybe four or five sugarcane an hour. So not that good, because I also forget to go up there and mine it all up so that's probably also a big reason why we're not getting very much but the fact that we have a huge farm down here that we can collect tons and tons and tons of it at this is going to change up the game drastically for us all right so i think you guys get the basic gist of this farm and uh if you've ever played any sort of survival skyblock that's uh on a server you've definitely probably seen a few farms that are like this but uh, usually they're to get money, and this in this case, it's just to get more emeralds to unlock more of our villagers so that we can get ourselves some glass. But yeah, let me build this out a little bit bigger, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I just finished up the farm over here, and I uh, guess we hit another slime chunk. Because as you guys can see, these guys are over here putting in some work, killing up all these uh, slimes. But that's fine. I'll just let them do that. I don't really mind it, as long as it kind of doesn't get in the way where the slimes start really spawning and attacking me I don't really care but as long as these guys are here to handle it doesn't bother me alright so as you guys can see this platform is all built out now and uh, yeah basically what I'll do is in between episodes I'll farm ourselves up some more sugar cane start planting it over here and uh, start saving a little bit more up so we can start unlocking our villagers to get ourselves some more glass because we're definitely gonna need to start using that in our next uh, few episodes and as you can see we have tons and tons of slime balls and uh, we're gonna use that too so I'll pretty much AFK break this down come over here check this and do that in between episodes and that'll pretty much get us exactly what we're gonna need alright guys so as you can see our sugar cane is over there now growing we have tons of slime tons of slime blocks are gonna be in the next episode and in the future and uh, yeah I'm very happy we made a lot of progress and as you can see like we expanded the whole island out it's just crazy to see how far this series has come in just, I think, 11 episodes, which is absolutely nuts. But yeah, it's getting super late, guys. I'm pretty sure it is uh, 4 in the morning where I am right now. So I'm going to get to sleep and uh, upload this video for you guys tomorrow. Now, don't forget, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's a new upload schedule. Sorry, it's not going to be every day. Just as we progress in the series, it just can't be every day. It's just not possible. But uh, enough rambling on. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. That's going to be it for today's episode. Peace out, guys.